Well, Inu Youth got a hands-on look at ocean research to understand how the sea is changing. Inu Nation hired a ship to help with scientific research, and students got to see it firsthand. Here in Nazhadi Adder has more. 24 young adults were able to go aboard the Polar Prince, rented by Inu Nation for a three-week expedition. Leanne Rich says she was in awe watching the research. I was really inspired by how they've been working about the, the ecosystem, so how, how the sea fish work. Inu Nation held the expedition to continue their ocean research. They're doing ROV scans, water sampling, dives, and more. Inu Nation is studying historic Inu sites along the shorelines and historic islands. Researchers are looking at the waters and sea creatures to see how the ocean is now and be able to tell how climate change impacts important areas. But they've partnered with students on ice. They wanted to bring young adults like Leanne and community members aboard. They did three cohorts with eight people each week for three weeks. That's more valuable than any sample that we could take. The young adults were able to see divers work. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans do testing. Hannaford do his ROV and drone work and more. Hannaford says it's too early to know what this expedition's research will tell them. But he says there's a lot of opportunities for young Inu in science. And he hopes this experience may inspire them into the future. I hope that they, that, uh, that people can see maybe some some pathways forward with that is related to being on a ship or on an expedition for themselves. Hannaford says Inu Nations hopes to do more community expeditions like this in the future. For now, Inu Nation will be spending the next number of months going through the data. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Happy Valley, Goose Bay.